Hey everyone, uh, this is Steven from Markland AVM and I just wanted to show you my latest project. So we have a church um, that has a multi-purpose gym and they also have some larger youth rooms and uh, some classrooms and they wanted something a little more robust to uh, be able to play some two-track music and also to uh, potentially do like a guitar, um, singer, and uh, Cahoon, something like that. Uh, do some little bit of praise and worship and have it for events like weddings and dinners and such. So I just wanna show you the cart here real fast. Um, the components of this are basically a rock and roller cart. I think it's the R10 model. And we have a DX, uh, Yamaha DXR12 for the top and a Yamaha DXS15 for the bottom. We have a PV, a PV10BT mixer, and this is a really cool mixer. Um, it's got a lot of great options on it um, for what we needed. You know, we're budget uh, oriented in this, didn't want to go too crazy, but in essence, you can basically uh, have your input sources. It has a uh, guitar switch here for doing um, uh, acoustic guitar or something without having to have a direct box that uh, adjusts the impedance. We also have an uh, eighth inch jack here for this two track channel. And then this digital channel has a Bluetooth option, a USB B on the back for computer interface and a USB-A for direct playback from a USB stick. Um, the mixer sounds really good. Uh, this little uh, Cosmos C is basically like a sonic maximizer and it really opens up the sound for kind of that two track. Um, for the inputs, the only input we got on this because they have some spare wired microphones and such is a Shure BLX for R with a Beta 58 handset, um, which should be pretty good. So uh, this is all <clears throat> coming down here and uh, inputs are cable managed down to a Furman power strip. Again, this is uh, you know intended to be a budget oriented cart and I think they got a lot for the dollars that were spent. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it up here and see what we get. So we have simple one switch operation and everything lights up. This little case down here is what is holding uh, the inputs here. Oops, a little out of focus there. Um, so we have the Beta 58 here, and if you pull this top off, you have all of your cables with these nifty little cable clamps. I like using those. A um, couple XLRs and a cable for the acoustic. So, let me just give you a little demonstration here. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. So, I know with uh, YouTube, you're not going to be able to really tell what that sounds like, but it, it sounds nice and clear. These Yamahas, um, I believe, actually have begun to incorporate some uh, advanced filtering and uh, freak, or um, sorry, uh, some phase control that's been developed by Nexo. So it really has a great sound to it. That's it. I'll talk to you later.